Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kunchi Saldariaga and we're here again for another season of very informative and entertaining wedding videos. Honestly, during my first season, I was so nervous because this is out of my comfort zone. But then I realized that especially at this time, a lot of soon to weds needs a lot of help in wedding planning. So I decided to go for a second season. By the way guys, you remember my last vlog? I asked you to ask me what you'd like me to discuss on my video channel. And I will be picking what I like best and will be awarded a gift certificate from Marco Polo. So I'm happy to announce I got two winners for that. So please watch until the end of the show so that you get to know who are the winners. Before anything else, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. So, let's go into how to level up your live stream weddings. Basically, it's broadcasting your wedding ceremony and reception to your guests who are online. Usually, gumagamit yan ng mga conference softwares like Zoom, Google Meet, Skype, etc. And I will be discussing that as we go on. Now, just because your guests are not there physically present in your event doesn't mean that your wedding won't be as much fun. In fact, with live streaming, there are so many opportunities that you can do na mapifeel mo na parang present din sila during your event. So that is exactly what I'm going to share with you guys today. I'm going to share 5 tips on how you can level up your live stream weddings. Let's get to it. Tip number 1. Set live stream guidelines. It's important that your guests know what they should and shouldn't do. Like for example, do you want them to be like dressed up according to your theme? Can their kids be included in the hall? Or are there particular guidelines that you want them to do? So that, you know, when they're seen on that big lead wall, everybody feels comfortable and know exactly what's happening. Tip number two, wedding theme backgrounds. As I mentioned earlier, most of our couples would have big lead walls and or projector so they can clearly see their guests on the screen. Providing your guests a wedding theme background would number one, lessen their stress on thinking what should be a perfect spot for them. So all they have to do is upload your digital image and instantly they have a virtual background. Number two, it makes your wedding consistent in terms of look and very put together. So providing them a wedding theme background will provide that consistent look. If you're not sure who will do your digital image, all you have to do is hire a visual graphic artist, maybe ask your audiovisual provider if they can do one, or ask your wedding planner for recommendations on who can do your wedding theme background. Tip number three, online games. Why not? You can actually make fun of your guests, both those that are present physically in your event and those that are online by combining them in a virtual game. So for example, you do a game of roulette. All you have to do is go to like willofnames.com and download that roulette and you can use that as like a spin a win game wherein a guest can maybe guess a number or a name or whatever challenge it is and they get to win a prize. They can also do a game of charade and split teams so that each one can participate in the game. You can also play a game called Pictionary. Did you know that Zoom has a whiteboard feature? You can actually draw any image just using your mouse as a tool and your guests can actually start guessing what is being drawn. So of course, kung sino yung mga magaling mag guess will win a prize. So actually, there's just a lot of interactive games that you can do for both your online guests and your guests physically present in your event. So guys, if you have anything that you want to share or comment, do write it down below so some of our soon to wins can also get to know those interesting games that we can do virtually. Tip number four, pass the mic. So even on a regular wedding, you usually have some guests who would be giving you messages. 
So again, even if you have online guests, you can also give them the opportunity to send you a message, you know, like a heartfelt message on a wedding tip or a wedding advice. They also can just randomly roast you as a couple. So all of these things is possible and I'm sure they will love the opportunity to be able to share a message for you guys. But then just take note that usually it should just be a maximum of 3 minutes. So give, give them a heads up para lang din hindi tayo mag overtime sa program. Tip number 5. Do a tech run. If you must, a few days before your event, have a conference with your prospective online guests and make sure na binigyan nila sila ng mga guidelines and orientation on what to expect during your live stream event. So it's very important that everybody knows how to handle technical glitches or let's say nagkakaroon sila ng mga difficulty on how to operate the live stream platform that you're using. This is the best way to make them understand what's going to happen. Especially yung mga older guests who are not very techy or not very familiar, at least you can already tell them how to manipulate their screen if let's say they're using Zoom or Google Meet. Okay, so I've already given 5 tips. But then again, may mga bonus pa because there are so many things to consider. Like for example, ano ba yung best social platform na pwede natin gamitin? In my personal experience so far, Zoom has proven to be less glitchy and mas maganda yung quality ng video output niya. It's just that you might have to pay for a premium account if you are having more than 100 guests. Now, if you do not want a paid option, you can also try using Google Meet. It allows you to have up to what 100 guests without any time limit. Also, you can use other portals like Skype or Messenger. If you are in doubt or naguguluhan kayo ano yung magandang platform, you can always ask your wedding planner or better yet, if your videographer is doing your live stream, ask them their best options. Additionally, you should also watch out for gate crashers. Yes, even if it's a virtual wedding, pwede pa rin maga gate crasher. So make sure that you send your meeting link securely. It would also be best practice if you have a wedding website or a web page na nandun lahat ang mga invited nyo lang and it's a secure link. This way, ma-avoid natin yung mga surprises on the day of your event. And the most important of all, make sure that your venue has a strong and stable internet connection. In that way, tuloy-tuloy ang live streaming. So you just have to make sure meron siyang at least a minimum speed of 30 Mbps upload and download speed. This way, everything will be efficient for your live streamers. So there you go. I really hope you've learned a lot on how to make your live stream wedding a lot more engaging. Now, for those who are watching and you have any other ideas or comments that you want to share, please post them down below in our comment section. And as promised, I'd like to announce the winners of our Marco Polo gift certificate. Congratulations, Tina V and Liz Reyes. They posted this suggestion and comment during my last episode. So congratulations, girls, for winning each 3,000 peso worth of gift certificate for dining in any Marco Polo or Tigas restaurant. Congratulations, and please, for the others, do keep on watching because we will have future raffles and giveaways pa. Please watch out for my next vlog. It's all about a bridal fair online, promos, discounts, giveaways. It's going to be pretty exciting. So please watch out for it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell.